Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to try to teach you how to distribute your WPF applications using Squirrel and GitHub. So I have this basic WPF application running on .NET 5.0. Uh, it's going to be able to display its current version, check for updates, and update if there are any updates available. So first of all, let's go ahead and install two NuGet packages that we're going to need. It's Squirrel. There it is, squirrel.windows and make sure you install the version 1.9.0 because after that for some reason it doesn't include the squirrel namespace and it just doesn't work on .NET Core and .NET applications. So go ahead and install that. We're also going to need NuGet command line. There it is. Install that. Good. Now we're going to go into our projects directory and open up a terminal of your choice. I'm going to be using bash and you'll need to install NuGet CLI globally on your machine in order for this to work. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. Once you have installed NuGet, you'll be able to verify its working state by typing NuGet and uh, yeah, just you're going to be getting a bunch of text. Now type in NuGet spec. This will create a NuGet specification file that we're going to be filling up momentarily. And yeah, there it is. So the main fields that you want to focus your attention on is ID and version, uh, because ID is basically the name of your application in the system. So let's call it application WPF and version for now, set it to zero, zero, zero. I'll tell you why later uh, and fill up the rest of the tags as you wish. OK, there we go. Now also paste this in. Now this tells the NuGet to look for files in the bin release net 5.0 dash windows and just grab all the files recursively on all subdirectories and put them into lib net 45. This is required by Squirrel, so don't touch that. Uh, however, if you're using .NET Core 3.1 or 3.0, this is going to look like this net core app 3.1 or 3.0. And uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Okay, good. Now save this file. Close it, and we're going to go ahead and open up our csproj file. And in this csproj file, you're going to need to insert this. OK, now that's a bunch of code. Uh, let's go through this real quick. So this property group has four variables. The first two are pointing to the CLI tools for NuGet and Squirrel. You don't need to touch that. This is really important. Remember that we set our version to 000 in the new spec file? Well, this is actually going to be copy pasted when we create our release files later. And this is also really important. This is a variable that's pointing to your new spec file, where, wherever it is. For, in my case, it's in the solutions directory in the col folder called WPF app core. And there it is. Uh, I need to actually rename it to release spec, like it says in the. Um, in the code. Now after that property group there's this thing and this basically generates release files if your build is successful and your configuration is set to release is going to generate a new git file um, with the help of your new spec file that you have specified here and uh, create a squirrel release and put them into the solutions directory deployment releases. Now you can change this release directory if you want and this output directory of the NuGet if you want, but I suggest not touching this and just let it do its magic. So let's try to build it. Note that my configuration is set to release. Okay. Okay, build succeeded. Let's go into our solutions directory and there we go. We have a folder called deployment. Here we have a folder called generated NuGets, which has the NuGet file from which our squirrel release files are going to be generated. Don't touch this. And here's our release with the setup. Cool. Now, um, because we're going to be using GitHub, of course, we need a GitHub repository. So let's go ahead and create that real quick. New repository, name it something. OK, you also need to make sure that your repository is public. Publish that. And now I'm going to transfer all the files that we had 
into the repository that I just created. There we go. Also, one thing you need to change is the git ignore uh, because by default, it's going to ignore this folder. If we look in the um, GitHub desktop client here. So in the bottom, we're going to type in not deployment and recursively select all files. There we go. Now you can see that Git actually sees our deployment files, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and say initial commit and push that into our repository. Okay, now the thing is, is that our application still doesn't use Squirrel in the code. So let's go ahead and implement some basic features that Squirrel provides. First of all, include the namespace. Now I'm going to create an update manager and I'm going to be passing it the link to our repository here in the first argument. And after that, I'm going to be setting the text of our text box to currently installed version to string. Now checking for updates is really simple. We we'll just take the manager, check for updates. And if there are releases to apply, then we enable the update button. Now, finally, the update button will call update app on the manager. And if everything went according to plan, we'll say updated successfully. Okay, let's save this and actually commit this. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch the configuration to release and without changing the version of our application, I'm gonna hit build solution or build project, it doesn't matter. And okay, we got our files updated here. There we go. Now, let's commit this into our GitHub. And now comes the most important part, actually creating a release. For that, click on the create a new release here and make sure the version is the same that you said in your uh, csproj file. Give it a name. You can even add a description here. And now, in order to release this application, you just grab all the files that are located in the deployments releases folder and drag and drop them right here. Now click publish release. And there we go. There's our version 1.0.0. And we can actually download the setup.exe and set up our application. So yeah, run anyway. There we go. Current version is 1.0.0. We can check for updates. Apparently there's no updates, so the button is disabled. Let's actually create another release and see if it actually works. I'm gonna go to my csproj file, change the version to 1.0.1, .1, for example. Then having my configuration set to release, I'm gonna hit build. Once build is done, I'm gonna commit all the changes to our repository. Good. Now, same as before, I'm gonna go into releases, draft a new release. Version is 1.0.1. .1. Give it some title, description, and drag and drop all the files from the deployment releases folder into here. Now hit publish release. And there we go. There's a new version available now. If we open our application, we should see a new update available. So check. And there we go. The button is highlighted. That means the update is live and we can actually update the app. So click on that. There we go, updated successfully. Now, in order for this to take effect, we need to restart the application. There it is. And you can see that the current version is 1.0.1. .1. And yeah, there we go. Now, rinse and repeat for every single release that you make. Don't forget to commit changes to your repository because you're gonna be keeping track of your Delta packages that way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. See you later.